Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Oblivion. Well, last time, we did archaeology, we did linguistics, but more importantly than any of that, our restoration hit 50. And bloody hell, does that open the floodgates to Ludicrous Town. Because, oh yeah, all of a sudden, I can start going at truly ridiculous speed. But, 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 I had a thought, because... Actually, I think we can go faster. Oh, and that does remind me, by the way, just in case you were curious, I did go check this myself. I can't just merge these spells uh, into one spell. If I try and make one spell that does both, then the restoration that I need would be much higher. So they do have to remain separate spells uh, for the time being. But no, 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 no. What I was thinking about instead... Uh, was potions. Because uh, I have got so many boost strength potions uh, that got me to thinking, uh, can I fortify speeds? And the answer turns out to be yes, though I'm going to be honest, there's good news and bad news. The good news is uh, I can. The bad news is uh, there's only two ingredients that actually let me do this. I haven't found any more yet. And while they do fortify speed, uh, they're also apparently both poisonous. So, as a result of that, I can make myself run ludicrously fast, but I'll also be taking quite a bit of damage as I do it. So, basically, I'm just making bootleg skooma moonshine. It's beautiful. And you know what else I think? That there. That is not nearly good enough. We can do better. Because, yes, with this cow, my alchemy is 93. I mean, pretty bloody good, but... Screw it. While I am literally standing next to the spellcrafting room, let's just make a mixing spell to get my alchemy up to our hundreds. So just activate that. Obviously at time it freezes in the menu, which is very convenient. And alchemy is- wait, hang on. What do you mean alchemy's 102? I thought- wait, hang on a minute. Now, I was under the impression that your attributes could go off into ludicrous space, but your skills uh, were capped to 100. So, okay, it's time to test this right now. Okay, experiment one, 31 points for 85 seconds, uh, but I'm also going to be damaging myself. Four points a second, uh, that's damage, uh, not drain. So that's actually kind of bad. That's a lot of damage. Experiment two, conducted under the effect of mechs. So, uh, yeah, just 10 higher, no effective difference to the potion. But if we turn on Mega Mix, No, gosh darn it, I suspect even though the number goes over 100, uh, the effect is capped at 100. Okay, that's good to know. At least I know effectively, yes, at 93 alchemy, I'm as good as maxed out. There's basically no more benefit to be got. So, uh, okay, let us make some of those potions uh, right now. 31 speed, uh, still really nice. And now we simply step outside, activate zoom part two, go over to zoom, activate that, can barely afford it. Then drink my fortified speed potion, spectacular. So athletics now at 97, meanwhile speed is now 211. Okay, so all of a sudden, okay, that's... That's pretty good. That's that's pretty good right there. I could just... Okay, I could cover a lot of distance, and that's without boing turned on. So, okay, life is, life is good and sexy. And, uh, yeah, spellcrafting is hilarious. And restoration just became, like, my top priority for boosting. That's very important to me, emotionally, damn it. Still, let's not worry about that. Let's worry instead about the fact that... Uh, Yes, after so, so long, I've finally been assigned uh, to take on the necromancer case. And, uh, okay, if there is a single necromancer I can speak to, I am on board. Black Soul Gems uh, have definitely been mentioned to me. We're about to learn the secrets. And better and flipping better, we are starting off the hunt by helping out a librarian with finding the right text. Which just sounds... Uh, Oh, like the best mission ever. Uh, look, if you're here for information, I'm afraid you'll have to find it on your own. I'm swamped right now, up to my ears in necromancy. Not practicing it, mind you. Wouldn't want anyone to think I was involved in that sort of thing. 
I simply meant researching it. Okay, don't you worry. I am more than willing to help out with this. Oh, of course you were. No doubt the council is trying to get you to bother me further. I ran Karanya out of here just a short while ago and told them to leave me alone. I keep telling them I can't produce results if I'm not given any time. I'm not used to working under conditions like this. Okay, slightly prickly librarian, and I don't just mean the spice coming out of our hats. Help? No offense, but I don't see how you can do that. Unless you'd like to take some of this work off my shoulders, I'm beyond helping. But I do appreciate the sentiment. If there's anything specific you need that may be more reasonable than just asking me about necromancers. Okay, so uh, yes indeed. Black Soul Jams. Precisely what I want to get my hands on. Hmm. Now that is a bit more specific. Finally, something I can respond to. Let me think for a moment. Ah, yes, there is one obscure text that references these gems. I believe it's still around here someplace, unless Falkar never returned it. The name of the book is Necromancer's Moon. I'm unclear on the origins of the text, but it does involve these gems you're interested in. I'm afraid you'll have to find it yourself. I'm so out of sorts with all these requests, I've lost track of most everything. It's very distressing. Okay, so Falcar, he used to be the leader in... Was it Chadena Hall? I think it was Chadena Hall. So if the book's not here, that's going to be the right place to look. Also, I'm going to be honest, this is, um... This is an embarrassingly small library for you to have uh, completely lost control over. Because, uh, best as I can tell, it contains, a uh, yeah... Four shelves of books. That's... That's about it. I'd say in here we've got maybe... I don't know. 40 books tops. You are a terrible librarian. And okay, just to scan every book looking for the right one. Read the ones with, uh, yes, high value. They might be skill books, potentially. But... Okay. Not seeing anything so far, then again. Check, yeah unusual places like say round the back of the shelves also bloody hell it's right here on a side table all right you probably saw it several times today while sitting on your desk though oh it's out on the table not on the shelf somebody's taken this off the shelf recently i'm not the only person to have read this but okay brothers and sisters of the worm the God of Worms watches over our order. Okay, this feels, uh, yeah, like almost a Daedra cult, potentially. The Revenant, the Necromancer's Moon, watches over all of us. His former Senator God Order has taken its rightful place in the sky and hides the enemy RK from us. So, okay, RK is like God of Death, whereas uh, the God of Worms, oh, Worms as in living things inside death, creatures of decay that eat corpses. So RK, God of Death, wants things to just like, you know, die and be buried. God of Worms wants to take the corpse and bring them straight back. That's why they'd be in opposition. Gotcha. So watch for signs. When the heavenly light descends from above, hasten to his altars, make your offering that he may bless you with but a taste of his true power. Grand soul gems are offered to him will be darkened and can be used to trap the souls of the unwitting, a feat even the great Engasta would marvel at. So okay, we can convert grand soul gems into black soul gems. Now grand soul gems can be bought at plenty of stores. The problem is they're often empty. So yeah, I don't have any creatures out in the world I know of that I can reliably trap to create grand soul. But Black Soul Gems, uh, they are always grand, or rather, well, they were in Skyrim. I really hope it's the same in Oblivion, otherwise I'm about to do a lot of evil for no reason. Nothing much on the other page, just a hint as to, yes, where we might find them. Ruined Forts, Secret Lairs. So, okay, watch out for forts with necromancers in it. 
might be connected to this god of worms. A most interesting text, is it not? We are fortunate that at least one necromancer took the time to record the information. I am unfamiliar with a shade of the revenant described within the book, but I was never one to dabble in the more, shall we say, amoral arts. You may take that with you for now, if you wish. The council may have use for it. Please, ask them to return it quickly, as I may need it again. Okay, so she doesn't know too much about the book or indeed necromancy in general, but then that does make sense. All the necromancers left when it was forbidden by the new archmage. Okay, you know what? I was being a bit mean to her a second ago. If you go upstairs, there are a lot more books here. Okay, slight issue I've encountered with uh, my new extremely high level of speed, which is, um, you may notice I've just taken some damage. Uh, yes, that's because I'm now so fast that when I'm running downstairs, uh, I fling myself off them. So if I just go down ah. here... Yeah, okay. So I've started just flinging myself down the stairs and I'm potentially going to kill myself this way in the event of a long enough staircase. Brilliant. So, I now vaguely know what these guys are doing, turning grand soul gems into, yeah, black soul gems. And I have a hint as to where they might be, but no solid lead. Hopefully, Raminus has got something for me. Hmm. I've never heard of this Shade of the Revenant. Some sort of celestial phenomenon? If that's correct, then Bothiel would most likely know something about it, as the caretaker of the orrery. She should be on university grounds. Okay, someone else to speak to, gotcha. Also, when you say she's somewhere on university grounds, she's bloody standing next to you, oh bloody oblivion NPCs. Revenant, you say? And it represents something in the heavens? It sounds familiar, let me think. Ah, yes, now I remember. Falcor was here some time ago asking about just such a thing. Said it was for research. He had a large sheaf of notes with him about it. I'm afraid I didn't have any more advice for him than I do for you. With the Ori in such a state of disrepair, I have no point of reference. Falcor did leave this behind. I think it fell from his notes as he left. I didn't pay it much attention, but perhaps it will be of use to you. Okay, one note. So, why do I get the feeling that, uh, yes, we're going to be seeing Falcar again at some point? Okay, now this is one incriminating note. Primary sites, we've got four locations, though I don't know. Wait, hang on. Wendelbeck. I swear that's an Ilaid ruin I've passed by before. I just can't remember where. But the name rings a bell, I'm sure of it. And indeed, uh, watch the skies. Once a week, his grace shines down on us. So, uh, yes, a phenomenon that apparently occurs uh, once a week. But when during the week? This lists several locations. The first is the Dark Fisher which I recognize. It's a cave in the mountains, south of Chadenhall. If there is indeed an altar there, as the note suggests, I believe this cave is directly related to the contents of the book. Go to the Dark Fissure the next time this shade occurs. Search for any connection to what we've learned and report back. Please, be careful. Anything you find is of no use to us if you do not survive. I believe we are dealing with powerful forces here. Do not put yourself in harm's way if it can be avoided. Okay, so we've got a location, but we know it only happens once a week, with no idea when, so I guess I can just use the wait function to find out, but there must be more of a clue somewhere. Well, there is one thing, I suppose. She did say the orrery, in the state it's in, she can't do anything. Now, I thought this was just, you know, a side bit of DLC, just for fun, but this might be important, actually. Because, yeah, as I understand it, the Ori is actually a DLC expansion-y thing. Okay, you've got this note, you may be able to help the Mages Guild. The Council of Mages doesn't have resources, the Legion is either unwilling or unable to assist. So, okay, a shipment of Dwarven artifacts was stolen by bandits, they want to sell it, and... Uh, the artifacts let us repair the orrery, which might just be helpful 
in figuring out this mystery. So, okay, I didn't realize this was going to be important, but... I mean, we may as well go and give it a look-see, because it sounds like, yes, her getting this place operational again could be useful in giving me an actual time scale for when to go to this cave, because there's no point going there if it's at the wrong time. So I need to locate, yeah, two cogs, one coherer, whatever that is, a cylinder, and a tube. And there's the destination, Campale. So, okay, probably the fastest way to get there will be... Start at Skingrad or Anvil and work in that direction. You know what? Let's go for Skingrad because, uh, yes, I do want to do one quick run by the vineyard because there's one very interesting thing I would like to test. You see, the last time we did a run around all the farms and just made all the potions, we made two and a half thousand gold. But what if I was to... Yes, use my newfound incredible fortification abilities uh, to get my merchant skill up to 100 before we did it. Obviously, this won't be an exact likeness because, yes, the amount of ingredients I'm going to have is going to be inconsistent. It is a bit of a dice roll how many ingredients you're going to get. But it's going to be a decent indication at least. So, activate my haggle ability. And there we go. That should now get my uh, merchant skill up to... Uh, about a hundred. He's already got max disposition. And now presumably we can whack him as far as he can go up towards max. He's an apprentice merchant. I'm now a master. And if he's willing to go for it, actually there's, oh dear. There's a whole bunch of different restore fatigues here. Some of them have different effects. But this stack alone is worth over 2,500 if he'll go for it. I can't afford to do that. Okay, he won't because he doesn't have the money. But if we offer him only, like, say, a third of it, see if he takes that. I can't make that deal. Okay, offer refused. Let's go a tiny bit down. We can definitely get something good going on here. I'm a master merchant. This guy loves me. Oh, he will do that. Right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, flipping yeah. This is, uh, this is going to be a ridiculous... Okay, I need to sell him... A Less, because the amount I'm selling per potion at the moment is uh, slightly ludicrous, and I love it. In the end, about 6,000 gold. So, uh, yeah, that was maybe worth 4,000 as opposed to 2,500. Now, it's not a precise experiment or anything, but still, okay, this is, this is pretty sexy. That there, that I'm uh, happy about. And here we go, set the camp as my destination. I just need to be heading in roughly this direction. Should get there in the not too distant future. And you know what? I do not mind running through this bit of the world either because, oh, so many ingredients. Just around Skingrad, it's an alchemist's dream. Which makes sense because, you know, Sindarian lives here. And apparently he is like the second best alchemist in the world after me, obviously. In fact, that's a good point. I should keep an eye on this because, uh, oh yeah, I am uh, almost level 14. So uh, all that an arm means, yeah, I do need the extra carry capacity. That's a okay. Intelligence, I'm not going to bother getting that to 10. That's fine. But yeah, intelligence is starting to get hard to raise because uh, the only not major skill I've got in intelligence is alchemy. And yeah, that's almost maxed out. So uh, definitely take intelligence and uh, endurance. You know what? I have been doing some block training. I wouldn't mind a tiny bit more. In fact, you know what? Buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. I just saw over there... Yes, a wolf. Would you mind coming and biting me for a bit? Because, uh, yes, I could do with a tiny, tiny amount more block if you'd be so kind. Oh, yeah. All of this armor and shield and damage reduction and whatnot, we are doing... Uh, just fine. Just, you know, take your time, buddy. I've got all day. Oh, there it goes. But it wasn't just a normal level. That was 50. So, okay. Now, oh, blocking with my, oh, just with my bare hands. That's less exciting, to be honest. Still, I guess it's better than nothing. Oh, yeah. That is now a-okay. Just go into the bow. Whenever we start getting, uh, yeah, marksmen moving in the right direction, that will be fine, though, to be honest, John. 
put the bow away. You are much faster without it. Let's just make our way straight to this camp, all right? Okay, I'm going to be honest. I was just, you know, taking out a handful of bandits and, um, I may have found uh, one of the items I was looking for. There was just a bandit carrier here. Honestly, I didn't even do most of the work. That was the mountain lion. Mountain lion did uh, most of this for me. But, um, yes, as it turns out, we've got one of the dwarven things. Did not mean to find that, but I did anyway. So, okay, watch out for bandits referred to as uh, carriers. You, however, buddy, are not one of those, dear oh dear. And we are nowhere near Camp Ale, so I suspect there's going to be more camps around here. Keep your eyes open. Any camps en route, we might just, you know, take them out now. Save myself the trouble later. Here we go, Camp Ale's. Nothing else too dramatic going on here. Let's just send you guys... What on earth are you using? Okay. That might be... Okay, I think it's just a dwarf and you just shot your friend, didn't you? They do that a lot. Also, I do appreciate that, yes, with my new speed, I can just back off faster than they can run. So any melee enemy, assuming I've just got clean air behind me, I can functionally kite them forever, which I do find hugely enjoyable, by the way. And bow users, as a general rule, I can just out-enchant them. So, uh, yeah, the flame damage is going... Very, very well for me. Just keep on keeping on. Okay, now you've decided to go over to a knife. Bad decision. Okay, this guy had one cog together with a letter that never made it. Decent armor and greaves of skill. Okay, so that is... Oh no, that's giving me 30 magic points. My non-sexual magic pants. So, okay. I mean, I'll take them. That's a very good weight-to-value ratio, but I'm not wearing them, no. Though, to be honest, actually, yeah, one bit of armor that really boosts light armor might be really good in terms of my defenses. I don't know. So, yes, indeed. Now I just need to visit multiple other camps, but to be honest, yes, I already passed by one. This should not be too complicated, really. Yep, next camp, nothing dramatic, but yeah, it would appear every single bandit carrier has got a really good bit of, uh, yeah, armor. So as a result of that, greaves of spell absorption. Not necessarily something I want to keep around, but again, that is ridiculously good money. The only problem's actually going to be selling it. Yeah, too many shops have got like an 800 gold limit, so... Where am I going to dispose of them? That's actually a problem. One of the really fun things about being as fast as I am, by the way, is um, I can outrun basically all wildlife. So right now I'm being pursued by two mountain lions. But they can't catch up with me. And uh, they appear to just, you know, be pretty happy following me a very long distance. So I'm just going to lead them straight into the bandit camp. Because, uh, you know what? It turns out speed is just beautifully beautifully powerful. You still there? They are both still here. And here's the camp coming up ahead of me. So now just uh, prepare to activate GS. Yes, zoom again. Let's just activate that to absolutely max out speed. And in just a moment, the Kind of notice this. There we go! And all of a sudden, yes, there were some people here, just not that many. Yep! The uh, tigers are going to be dealing with that for me. Which is just absolutely flipping beautiful. In fact, you know what? The tigers are going to win. And then they're going to keep pursuing me afterwards. So I suspect what's going to happen here is... Uh, I'm just going to put a little arrow in you. There we go. You're now... You've lost me as well. And that was enough to level up. Brilliant. Oh, this is... This is nice. I'm having a lovely time today. Oh, and flip me, life just keeps getting better. Glass bow. That's... That's ludicrously good. Okay, so, 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 so. Okay, that's... That's nice. I'm just gonna be, uh... I'll be taking that off your hands. That's... That's fine, buddy. Okay, I am really happy I did this today. Because I'm having a lovely time from it. Now, the only downside is, um... Yes, unfortunately, the tigers killed uh, the other one. Does anyone know where he was when he died? Because I need to find the body to get the thing. Now, hang on. Is the 
quest marker. Oh, hang on. The quest marker. There we go. Thank goodness. What I really need, by the way, is a find corpse spell. Like, so I can detect corpses that get hidden in the grass. Also, for some reason, you had the same greaves of spell absorption. So, okay, I am making good money today. You know what? I'm actually going to keep one of these greaves of spell absorption. Maybe not necessarily on me, but... That seems a fair point. If you put that together with the spell drinker amulet, I can just shrug off a lot of magical damage. Also, I forgot to look at the robe of the conjurer, which is not very good... But I'm not going to sell it, because you know what? It's emotionally important to me. I'm just going to dump it in the chest with all the other stuff back in Anvil instead. Also, bloody hell is this glass bow a big step up from what I've had before. 12 base damage versus 10. And bows are getting sneak attacks, not hard. So the difference, multiply that by 3. Oh yeah, we're going to be coming back for you, buddy. In fact, you know what? This here is a really good incentive to get that black soul jammer. Once we've done that, oh, you can be turned into something mighty. And you know what? While I'm actually back here, it has been a while since I've leveled up in my own home, in my own bed. So why not? It is, uh, yes, about 8pm. Let's have a lovely night's sleep here. So here we go. Strength, let's move that in the right direction. I just want some on carry weight. Intelligence, yeah. Base now, 91. That is getting a harder and a harder to level up, to be honest, but not bad. Endurance, that can now hit 61. Again, reasonable, but to be honest, yeah. Next level, probably want to make sure that we get agility. That one's getting trickier to level up to. In fact, actually, thinking about it in terms of intelligence... Nine points yet to be put into intelligence to get it to 100, which we definitely want to happen. Well, my alchemy is starting to, um, get out of hand. Meaning, yeah, there's now very little I can actually do with that. I think if I take off the helmet, hang on, that gets that down to, is it, yeah, 85. Okay, you know what, that's not terrible. 85 is okay, so just to put that back on at two... If you'd be so kind. Uh, so yeah, alchemy 90 at the moment. There's still enough space there to get intelligence up a fair bit. But yeah, getting intelligence plus 5, uh, I don't think we're going to be able to do that. It might just have to be plus 3 times 3 to get us to 100. Still, I will say carry weight 280. Oh yeah, that there, that's nice. And absolutely perfect, just north of Anvil, the final camp. Brilliant. Oh, and hang on, I think I see something green in the last bandit's hands. Green normally means glass. We saw a Warhammer in the dream world back when we did that. Meaning now I think, oh buddy, is that bunny chance a glass mace that you've... Oh, it is. Oh, 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 oh. oh this has worked out very well. Where's the corpse gone? Bloody grass. Right, there's the cylinder, smuggler's boots, fortifying sneak, and now I can make better than that. But again, actually, just take it, sell it. Not bad, not bad at all. Now, was that everything? Yes, indeed, brilliant, nice and simple. And out of it, I've got some really, really good gear. All right, Bothiel, got various bits and pieces for you. Let's have some more information about the Revenant of the Necromancer's Moon or whatever. You have them? The items I requested? Give them to me, please. Yes, yes, this seems to be everything. Here's your reward. Thank you again. Does that mean I'm allowed to, to go in? Did she just go into the... Well met, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I was hoping for more information about the Necromancer's Moon. Ah, here we go. Just needed to wait a brief period of time, and apparently it's now working. She just went straight in to do the repairs, but now apparently I can receive powers. Oh, and la -dee dar it's all rather fancy, isn't it? Right, both the old. Tragically, no. There is no extra dialogue to help me figure out the mystery of uh, the Necromancer's Moon. Though I'm starting to wonder, yeah, what would happen had I done the repairs before speaking to her 
about the Necromancer's Moon, because uh, it did very specifically say, hey, I can't help you, the aura is broken. So, were it not broken? Okay, curious what that might look like. And yes, indeed, this all looks very familiar. I'm guessing this was the inspiration for the giant orrery that you get the Elder Scroll out of in uh, Skyrim. So, uh, alright, buddy. How precisely does this thing work? I've turned it on. And now it's all glowy and wibbly. Okay, you know what? This was worth it, just for the fact it's all going glow and wibble and whatnot. Because that's pretty nice, yes. So, okay. Keep activating it. Masses mites. What does that actually mean? You have the current power. It's a spell, so I can use it to fortify my strength, but at the cost of speed. Which, I'll admit, does seem kind of terrible, because I can just use magic to fortify my strength Anyway, now admittedly, not so much. Like, that's only uh, five. Greater would be... Okay, I'll give you. That's a decent amount. Twenty. But there is a cost. And on top of that... Yeah, with my alchemy as good as it is, I can already get uh, strength up by 30 points. Which is pretty bloody incredible, actually. Yes. In fact, I should really be using these potions more often because fortify health, 57 points. That is not bad. That's actually pretty bloody useful. And intelligence up 30 points too. Brilliant stuff there. Oh yeah, this is pretty good. Combine that with a giant pile of... Uh, okay, I just need to be spamming more potions uh, because uh, I have a lot of them. And they're pretty damn nice. And conveniently, Dark Fisher appears to be... Yeah, literally just around the corner from Vartasana, where I was just last week. So okay, nice and easy to get to. So here's the body of water. That was the swampy cave over there. Looks like I might be able to, uh, yeah, make my way up into the mountain uh, right here, though, actually. I might not need to because uh, swampy cave, uh, dry rock run. Okay, what's... That's just a crab. It's not the biggest deal in the world. You know what? I'm going in there because the last swampy cave uh, was actually really bloody useful. You see, you can always trust a swamp cave. Ring of speed right here. Not the absolute best. I could make slightly better. But I'm not going to say no to another eight points of speed. In fact, you know what? That's really true, actually. In theory, I could have a plus 10 speed on my boots, trousers, armor, gloves, helmet, ring, ring, Amulet. Is that all the slots I've got? Is it eight slots? Because, uh, oh bloody hell, that might be, uh, that might be nice. And shield. If it's allowed on the shield, uh, and it's allowed on the weapon, that's ten. That's ten times ten. That's a hundred. A hundred more speed off the loadout. Then boost that by, okay, John, stop just thinking about speed all the time. But like, oh bloody hell, this could get ludicrous in a hurry. Alright, back outside, looks to me like we got ourselves, yeah, a cave and a mine in this part of the world. Uh, just got to use my Bethesda powers of uh, pressing jump a lot. There we go. Uh, this looks like... Okay, this doesn't look like a path, because uh, no human could uh, run up this. But welcome to Bethesda games, uh, where you definitely can. And uh, here we go. Dark Fisher. Now, uh, what precisely is it? Ooh. You know what? I think I found the right place. So, nothing in the altar at all. And they were saying, yeah, figure out what's going on here. Quest mark is just pointing at this. So, all right. May as well uh, nip inside and see what's going on. And the answer, as it turns out, is... Would you believe... Somebody guarding the place, so... Uh, gonna be honest, guys, I am mainly on your side, but screw you, I want your secrets for myself. Brilliant. So, uh, okay, just get over to uh, here. Zombie versus all the rest of it. No, you don't. And just a little bit more, please. Okay, just go over to the, the mace. The mace is good uh, when it comes to... No, just finish her off. Finish her off and he disappears. Bloody hell. Necromancy 101, John. Dear oh flipping dear. 
Ooh. You're a worm at Anchorite. Well, la -de da take the handwritten note. I really hope you weren't friendly, by the way, because if so, I may have just really ruined our first meeting. Place the soul gem in the altar. Pray for his blessing, strike the altar with soul trap magic, then your gems become instruments of his divine power, which I understand to mean black soul gems. But surely it's not just that, it needs to be at the right time. So we've got like, you know, a bit of a hint as to what's going on. Also, bloody hell. Okay, we're just summoning at each other. Good, 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 good. Need to get this information to Raminus. Well, I could do that. I could. Or I could use it to make a black soul jam. I mean, I won't deny. This place has definitely got a touch of the evils about it. Definitely some evil stuff going on here. But, all right, just... Hack that open with my magical lockpick. Brilliant. Into the tunnels we go. Let's see what we got here. And the answer is... Headless Zombies. Pretty tough, but I think I can handle that these days. Alright, I've murdered everybody as far as I can see, but uh, yes. No big obvious clues aside from a couple of interesting things right here. A small bedroom area with... Yes, guides to Leowin, guide to Skingrag, guide to the Imperial City, suggesting these guys are making plans. Alright, involving the big cities of Cyrodiil. And number two, found myself a Selkane. Now, I've not seen the selling question, so I'm guessing we're coming back here later, given the mission did say, go tell Raminus, don't just start murdering everybody. But then, if it wanted me to not murder everybody, it should have locked the door with a key I didn't have access to. Alright, the door was open, I was coming in, and Raminus can hardly be annoyed. The necromancers killed his friends at the Sacred Grove. So, yeah, this has got to be deemed a good thing. I mean, there was a cell right here, nearby, but yeah, there was nothing in it but a ghost. So, okay, I feel like maybe that key could be... Very useful when I get back here again in the future. For the time being though, yeah, let's get up here and see what we can learn. They said uh, once a week there was going to be some form of uh, celestial light diddly diddly day. So okay, let's call it midnight. Alright, if it's going to be making its appearance, midnight's a good evil hour. I do not see anything special going on in the sky, but then uh, it could be any day over the next week, so all right. I've got the patience for this. I may have failed the test of patience previously, but I've got patience, all right, when the prize for patience is a, a black soul gem that I can use to enslave the human soul and turn it into a battery. 100%, I can come up with some patience then. Tuesday night, nothing in the sky. Oh, hang on, I think that was Thursday, actually. So now it's Friday night, or like, free dance if we're speaking in Cyrodiil. Nothing in the sky. Well, okay, there's there's a giant moon. Was that giant moon always there? Saturday night, hard to verify whether giant moon is there, because uh, slightly cloudy. That is probably not the celestial thing we're looking for, however. Oh, flip me. Sunday night, dark moon is there, but... Oh, ho, ho. It's Sunday. That's the day... It's Sunday, there's a big purple light. Okay, 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 okay. By Sunday, what I mean is, uh, yes, just into Sundas from Loradas, which is Saturday. So, yeah, the evening that starts Saturday into Sunday morning. That's when it is. Okay, now this is... This is rather interesting. We don't need to go back to Raminus. Screw it, now I know the secret. And... Uh, that means I'm just missing one thing. A grand soul gem. Or to be precise, as many grand soul gems as people around the world will sell me. Because empty soul gems, they're not the difficult bit. Alright, empty soul gems, every mage's guild is just flogging them off all the time. Oh, and while I'm doing the rounds, guess what I've just found up in Bruma? It's the next level up. In a lambic, brilliant. So okay, sell the uh, apprentice and buy. Oh yeah, 
Oh, flippity, yeah, that'll do. Okay, so I've just done a quick run round every gilded Cyrodiil. And that has left me with eight empty Grand Soul Gems. Okay, um, gonna be honest, it's Saturday night into Sunday, and there doesn't appear to be... Uh-oh. Did I miscalculate something? Because there's no giant light from above. Now, oh, but hang on. Of the revenant blankets this world. I give these gems as an offering. May the power of the true God fill and change them. Somebody just did the ritual. Where are you? Also, I feel like this guy does not want to be friends. Because he is yelling stuff like, where are you, etc, etc. So let's just distract him. And then finish you off with all of my powers. Lovely. And I just hit you by accident, didn't I? This does happen on occasion, yes. And then the bloody Dramora turns on me. It's very irritating. So, okay, that was a demonstration of what to do. But I already knew that. I got it off the information inside the cave. So... Okay, let's make this happen. Oh, well, one, that's a freebie. He just made one. But you know what? One, one's not good enough. No, 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 no. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do this ourselves, all right? The freebie, that's not good enough. So, insert eight grand soul gems. And then activate soul trap on altar underneath Holy light of the worm. And... Well, something just happened. And if we are very, very lucky. Keep going. Keep going. Can I just do this? I could do this over and over. Oh, flip me. Yes. 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 Necromancy forever. I love it. And I'm sure I'm supposed to go back to Raminus at this point. But you know what? I've decided we might uh, just, you know... Take the scenic route back to Raminus, because he might say things such as, Oh my goodness, I see you've collected the evidence, let me just take that off your hands and whatnot. And no, 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 no. I think I'm going to have some fun with my brand new toy. But, I would say, that's enough for now. We now know the secret. We know how to make black soul gems. We know how to capture human souls. And, uh, oh... I am going to make some mighty weapons and armor next time. And with those in hand, I think it's time. We are taking them back to Sundercliff and taking on, apparently, the biggest, longest, nastiest dungeon in the game. Hopefully, you're looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Oblivion. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got ourselves- I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is gonna take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.